blacksmith courted me nine months and better. He fairly won my heart, he wrote me a letter. With his hammer in his hand, he looks a clever. And if I were with my love, I would live forever. Oh, where is my love gone with his cheeks like roses? With his good black billy cock gone decked with primroses? I'm afraid the scorching sun will shine and burn his beauty. And if I were with my love, I would do my duty. Strange news is come to town. Strange news is carried. Strange news flies up and down that my love is married. Oh, I wish them both much joy, though they don't hear me. And may God reward him well for the slighting of me. What did you promise me when you lay beside me? You said you'd marry me and not deny me. If I said I'd marry you, t'was only for to try you. So bring your witness, love, and I'll not deny you. Oh, witness, have I none, the save God Almighty. And may he reward you well for the slighting of me. Her lips grew pale and wan, it made her heart to tremble. For to think she had loved one, and he'd proved deceitful. Oh, a blacksmith courted me. Nine months and better, he fairly won my heart, he wrote me a letter. With his hammer in his hand, he looks a clever, and if I were with my love, I would live forever. As I walked out one bright May morning, a fair young lady I chanced to see. I asked her if she had a sweetheart, and this reply she gave to me. It's seven long years since I had a sweetheart, it's seven long years since I did him see, and seven more I will wait upon him till he returns for to marry me. I don't know how you can love a sailor, I don't know how you can love a slave. Perhaps he's married or else he's buried Or lying in his cold, watery grave Well, if he's married, I wish him happy And if he's buried, I wish him rest But for his sake I will never marry for he's the young man that I love best. He put his hand into his pocket, his fingers being so long and thin, pulled out a ring that was bent and broken, 
And when she seen it down she fell. He lifted her into his arms. He gave her kisses three by three. Saying, who am I but your only sailor boy? Just returned for to marry you. We come a cover calling, cover calling, cover calling. We come a cover calling for a bonfire night. We come a cover calling for a bonfire night. For call and for money, we hope you're set right. For the ray, for the ray, for the really I don't day. Now the first house we come to is an old cobbler's shop Wait now till it's corn, it's but an old pepper box Pepper box, borrow wax, morning till night If you give us now, we'll take now farewell and good night No, me father is dead He's dead and he's gone Attention to his grave Hello boys, hello boys, let the bells ring Fire boys, fire boys, fire we sing The 5th of November, we hope you remember For gunpowder, treason and plots I see no reason why gunpowder's treason should ever be forgot. We come a cover calling, cover calling, cover calling. We come a cover calling for bonfire night. We come a cover calling, cover calling, cover calling. We come a cover calling for Once I loved with fond affection All his thoughts they were of me Until a dark girl did persuade him Now he thinks no more of me For now his heart with another one that has great gold in store while I poor girl am left broken hearted I'm left alone because I'm poor so go and leave me love never let me cross your mind for if you think I'm so unworthy go and leave me I don't mind then is the day love with you I've rambled Many was the night Love with you I've spent For I always thought You were mine forever But now I know the ring love which first you gave me when our hearts they were entwined give it to that dark haired lady she'll never know that it once was mine 
She gave me this reply. I have a little meadow I've kept for you in store, and it's only due I should tell you true, it never was mowed before. She said, me handsome young man, if a mower that you be, I'll give you good employment. So come along with me. Well, it was me good employment to wander up and down with me tearing scythe to contrive to mow her meta down. Now me courage being undaunted, I stepped out on the ground and with me tearing scythe I then did strive to mow her meta down. I mowed from nine till dinner time. It was far beyond me skill. I was obliged to yield and to quit the field. And her grass was growing still. Now the more she kissed and did protest, this fair maid being so young, her little eyes, they glittered like to the rising sun. She said, I'll strive to sharpen your scythe. So set it in me hand, and then perhaps you will return again to mow me meadowland. I'm a fallen weaver, as many a one knows. I've now taken. And I've worn out me clothes Me clogs are both broken And stockings of none That scarce give me tuppence For all I've gotten on Old Billy O'Bent He kept telling me long We might have better times If I'd know but hold my tongue well, I've holding me tongue till I've nearly lost me breath. 
And I feel in me heart that I'll soon come to death. I'm a fallen weaver, as many a one knows. I've now eat and I've worn out me clothes. Old Billy's all right, but he ne'er were clemmed, and he ne'er picked all in his life. We held on for six weeks, thought each day were the last. We tarried and shifted till now we're quite fast. We lived upon nettles while nettles were good. And the Waterloo porridge was the best of our food. Our Margaret declares if it closed to put on, she'd go up to London to see the great man. And if things didn't alter when there who had been, who swears who would fight? We blood up to the end. I'm a fallen weaver, as many a one knows. I've now eaten and I've worn out me clothes. Clogs we have none, nor no looms to weave on. And I've woven myself the far end. Come, all jolly ploughmen, and help me to sing. I will sing in the praise of you all. If a man he don't labor, how can he get bread? I will sing and make merry with all. It was of two young brethren, two young brethren born. It was of two young brethren born. One he was a shepherd and a tender of sheep. The other a planter of corn. We will rile it, we will tile it through mud and through clay. We will plough it up deeper and low. Then after comes the seedsman, his corn for to sow, and the harrows to rake it in rows. There is April, there is May, there is June and July. What a pleasure it is for to see the corn grow. In August we will reap it, we will cut sheep and bind it, and go down with our sides for to mow. And after we've reaped it our beverly sheep, and have gathered our beverly ear, with a drop of good beer, boys, and our hearts full of cheer, we will wish them another good year. Our barns they are full, our fields they are clear. Good health to our master and friends. We will make no more to do, but we'll plough and we'll sow, and prepare for the very next year. Up in the north there lived a brisk couple Where young men and maidens a courting do go Always a courting but never talked of marrying Until this young girl she began for to say Young man, young man, what is it you mean? Of courting I'm weary, I'm resolved to get married Or else from your company I must refrain 
and then I must own I do love you dearly, but as for to marry, I don't feel inclined. When a man he gets wed, his joys are all fled. He's free from all liberty, bound down towards slavery. So whilst I am single, I wish you good night. Oh, there's one thing, dear John, I should like to ask you. That's if you're married first, ask me to your wedding. And if I am before you, then I'll do the same. So the bargain was made when up stepped a young jade. He stepped up to her, he intended to have her. He was a ship's carpenter's son by his trade. So she wrote John a letter, a kind, loving letter, to come to her wedding on the ninth day of June, to wait on her table instead of her better, to wait at her table all on the bridegroom. When this letter he read, it made his heart bleed. In sorrow he mourned, his tale was soon turned. I'm a fool, I'm undone, I have lost her indeed. So he saddled his horse, rode off to the station, thinking to meet with his true lover there. But when he got there, he was sadly amazed to see this young girl so highly surmounted, which caused from his eye to fall many a tear. If I had have known he'd be had so soon, I would not have tarried, but you I'd have married, so jump up beside me and leave him alone. Oh no, my dear John, for I've much better choose it, and can't you remember what you said to me? When a man he gets wet, his joys are all fled. He's free from all liberty, bound down towards slavery. So whilst you were single, you'd wish me good night. Now as I was a walking down by the seashore, where the wind it did whistle and the waves they did roar. There I had a fair maid make a terrible sound like the winds and the waves that did echo around crying oh my love is gone he's the youth i adore he's gone and i never shall see him no more she'd a voice like a nightingale skin like a dove and the song that she sang, it was all about love. When I asked her to marry me, marry me, please, but the answer she gave, my love's drowned in the seas, crying, oh, oh, my love is gone. He's the youth I adore. He's gone and I never shall see him no more. I said I had gold and I'd silver beside On a coach and six horses with me she could ride She said I'll not marry nor yet prove a wife 
I'll be constant and true all the days I have life, crying oh, oh my love is gone. He's the youth I adore. He's gone and I never shall see him no more. Then she flung her arms wide and she took a great leap. From the cliffs that were high to the billows so deep, saying the rocks of the ocean shall be my deathbed, and the shrimps of the sea shall swim over my head, crying. Oh, oh, my love is gone. He's the youth I adore. He's gone and I never shall see him no more. And now every night at six bells they appear When the moon it is shining and the stars they are clear These two constant lovers with each other's charms Rolling over and over in each other's arms, crying, Oh, oh, my love is gone. He's the youth I adore. He's gone and I never shall see him no more. In Chester town there lived a brisk young widow For beauty and fine clothes none could excel her she was proper stout and tall, her fingers long and small. She's a comely dame with all, she's a brisk young widow. So a lover soon there came, a brisk young farmer, with his hat turned up all round, thinking to gain her. My dear, for love of you, this wide world I go through. If you would but prove true, you shall wed a farmer. Says she, I'm not for you, nor no such fellow. I'm for some lively lad with lands and riches. Tis not your hogs and yows can maintain furbelows. My silks and satin hose, they are all me glory. Madam, don't be coy for all your glory, for fear of another day and another story. If the world on you should frown, your top knot must come down to a linsey woolsey gown, where is then your glory? And at length there come that way, a sooty collier with his hat bent down all round, he sounded gainer, whereat that farmer swore, who oh, that widow's mace, I'm sure, I'll never court no more with a brisk young widow. Lady Margaret sat in her low roof room. She was sewing all alone till after the parting of midnight she heard a mournful sound. 
Oh, is it my father? Is it my mother? Or is it my brother John? Or is it my true love, young William? From London you come home. Oh, it's not your father or mother, he cried, nor yet your brother John, but I am your true love, young William, and I am not a living man. Fair Margaret, rare Margaret, and Margaret of vanity, don't ever love any other young man the way that you love me. Oh, that's a promise that I'll not give. Oh, no, that will not I till I have a kiss from your sweet lips as in my arms you lie. My lips, they are so bitter, he said. My breath is earthy strong that if you was to cuddle me in your arms, your time would not be long. Well, he's took her by the apron string, said, dear love, follow me, and it's over the hills on a fine summer night in a dead man's company. Well, they ran till they came to the low churchyard where the grass grows rank and green. He said, dear love, this is the place where my fair body dwells in. Is there no room at your bed head? Is there no room at your feet? Or is there no room at your right side? For a lady like me to sleep. Three maids do lie at my right side That I once promised to wed. Three babes do lie at my bed foot That these three maidens have. Oh, what is this, poor Margaret cries, that stands at your bed head. They are the three hounds of hell, he said, to guide the souls of the dead. Then up then crowed the milk-white cock, and up then crowed the grey, and he vanished in the dew-wet ground. And she went weeping away. Come all you young fellows that carry a gun. I'll have you take warning and leave it at home. For young Jimmy was a fowler and a fowling alone When he shot his own true love in the room of a swan As Polly was a-walking, a rainstorm come on She hid under the bushes the shower for to shun with her apron wrapped over her, he took her for a swan, and his gun didn't miss, and it was Polly his own. Then home ran young Jimmy with his dog and his gun, crying, Uncle, dear Uncle, have you heard what I've done? Oh, curse it be that gunsmith that made me my gun, for I've shot my own true love in the room of a swan. 
Then up jumped bold uncle with his locks hanging grey, crying, Jimmy, oh, Jimmy, now don't you run away. Oh, don't you leave your own country till your trial comes on, for they never will hang you for the shooting of a swan. Well, the funeral of Polly, it was a brave sight. There were four and twenty young men and all dressed in white. They took her to the graveyard, they laid her in the clay. Then they bid adieu to Polly and all went away. Now the girls of this country, they're all glad you know, for to see Polly Vaughan a lying so low. You could gather them into the mountain, and you could plant them in a row, but her beauty would shine amongst them like a fountain of snow. Well, the trial wore on, and young Polly did appear, crying, Uncle, oh, Uncle, let Jimmy go clear. With my apron all bound around me, he took me for a swan, and my poor heart lay a-bleeding all on the green ground. On the eighteenth day of June, me boys, eighteen hundred and fifteen, both horse and foot made in advance, most glorious to be seen. Both horse and foot made in advance, and the bugle horn did blow, that the sons of France were made to dance on the plains of Waterloo. Our cavalry advanced and withdrew and valiant heart. Our infantry and artillery did nobly play their part. While the small arms they did rattle and the great guns they did roar. All on the plains of Waterloo where the thundering cannons roar. The French dogs made a bold attack in front of Mount St. Jean. Two of their best battalions thought the village for to gain. Our infantry first charged them and made them face about. So William with his heavy brigade soon put them to the rout. Napoleon, like a lantern cock, sat mounted on a bar. He much did wish to represent great Mars, the god of war. On a high platform there he did stand, and loudly he did crawl. He drooped his wings and turned his tail to us at Waterloo. The valiant Duke of Brunswick fell in the field that day, and many a gallant officer fell in the awful fray, and many a British soldier lay wounded in their gore upon the plains of Waterloo where the thundering cannons roar. On the eighteenth day of June, me boys, eighteen hundred and fifteen, both horse and foot made in advance, most glorious to be seen. Both horse and foot made in advance, and the bugle horn did blow, and the sons of France we made to dance on the plains of Waterloo.
Oh, where have you been, Randall, my son? Oh, where have you been, my sweet pretty one? I've been to my sweethearts, oh, make my bed soon. I'm sick to my heart, and Finn would lie down. Oh, what did she give you, Randall, my son? Oh, what did she give you, my sweet pretty one? She gave me some eels, oh, make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart, and Finn would lie down. Oh, what colour were they, Randall, my son? Oh, what colour were they, my sweet pretty one? They were spickered and sparkered, oh, make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart, and Finn would lie down. Oh, where did she get them, Randall, my son? Oh, where did she get them, my sweet pretty one? From the hedges and the ditches, oh, make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart, and Finn would lie down. Oh, they were strong poison, Randall, my son. Oh, they were strong poison, my sweet pretty one. You'll die, you'll die, Randall, my son. You'll die, oh, you'll die, my sweet pretty one. Oh, what will you leave your father, Randall, my son? Oh, what will you leave your father, my sweet pretty one? My land and my houses more than make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart, and Finn would lie down. Oh, what will you leave your mother, Randall, my son? Oh, what will you leave your mother, my sweet pretty one? My gold and my silver, mother, make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart, and Finn will lie down. Oh, what will you leave your lover, Randall, my son? Oh, what will you leave your lover, my sweet pretty one? A rope to hang her, more than make my bed soon, for I'm sick to my heart, and Finn would lie down. There's an ancient party at the other end of town. They keep a little Chandler shop, their ancient names are brown. There's such a jolly party, such a party I never saw. But by jingo I would like to be that old chap's son-in-law. Old Brown's daughter, she's a proper sort of girl. Old Brown's daughter, she's as fair as any pearl. I wish I were a Lord Mayor, a Marquis or an Earl. I'm blowed if I wouldn't marry Old Brown's girl. Old Brown keeps a shop, sells anything you please. Treacle wood, buns and soap, lollipops and cheese. Miss Brown, she minds the shop, it's a treat to see her serve. 
I'd like to run away with her, but I haven't got the nerve. Old Brown's daughter, she's a proper sort of girl. Old Brown's daughter, she's as fair as any pearl. I wish I were a Lord Mayor, a Marquis or an Earl. I'm blowed if I wouldn't marry Old Brown's girl. Old Brown is often troubled with the gout. He grumbles in his little parlour when he can't get out. Miss Brown, she smiles so sweetly when she hands me the change. She makes me feel so galvanised, I feel so very strange. Old Brown's daughter, she's a proper sort of girl. Old Brown's daughter, she's as fair as any pearl. I wish I were a Lord Mayor, a Marquis or an Earl. I'm blowed if I wouldn't marry old Brown's girl. Miss Brown, she smiles so sweetly when I say a tender word. Old Brown says she'll marry a Marquis or a Lord. I don't suppose that ever one of these swells I shall be. But by jingo next election I shall put up as N.P. Old Brown's daughter, she's a proper sort of girl. Old Brown's daughter, she's as fair as any pearl. I wish I were a Lord Mayor, a Marquis or an Earl. I'm blowed if I wouldn't marry Old Brown's girl. It's all the sea captain lived by the salt sea side, oh, and he has courted a fair maid till she's proved with child, oh, crying, oh, my love, what shall I do, and what will become of me? For me father and mother, they both will disown me. Go fetch some of your father's gold and some of your mother's money and you can sail the ocean along with your Johnny. So she's fetched some of her father's gold and some of her mother's money and she has gone on board a ship along with her Johnny. They hadn't been a sailing scarce six weeks nor so many before she wanted women's help and could not get any. Oh, hold your tongue, you foolish girl. Oh, hold your tongue, me honey. For we cannot get women's help for love nor for money. They hadn't been a sailing scarce six miles nor so many before she was delivered of a beautiful baby. Sea captain, sea captain, here's fifty pounds for thee. If you will fetch me home safe again, both me and my baby. Oh no, says the sea captain, for such a thing can never be. For tis better to lose two lives than it is to lose many. He's tied a kerchief round her head. 
He's tied it soft and easy And he has thrown a right overboard Both she and her baby See how me love do swim me boys See how me love do quiver She shall never see swimming till the banks of green willow. My love shall have a coffin of the gold that shines so yellow. And she shall be buried by the banks of green willow. Well, now to be brief, let's pass over the rest who seldom or never were given to jest and sing of King Jamie, the first of our throne. How oh, a pleasant a monarch shall never was known. As he was out hunting the swift fallow deer, he dropped all his nobles, and when he got clear in search of some pastime, away he did ride, till he came to a nail house up by the woodside. And there with a tinkler he chanced for to meet, and him in kind sort so freely did greet. Pray tell me, good fellow, what hast in thy jug, which under thy arm thou dost lovingly hug? By the mass, quoth the tinkler, tis nappy brown ale, and for to drink to thee, friend, I'll not fail. For though that thy jacket be gallant and fine, I think that my tuppence as good is as thine. By me soul, honest fellow, tis truth thou hast spoke, and straight he sat down with a tinkler to joke, and they drank to the king, they pledged to each other, who'd seen them and thought they was brother and brother. And as they were a-drinking, the king pleased to say, What news, honest fellow, come tell me, I pray. Well, there's nothing of news, save that I hear that the king's on the border, a chase in the deer. And truly I wish I so happy may be, whilst he is out hunting, the king I might see. For though I had travelled the land many ways, I never have yet seen the king in me days. And the king with a hearty good laughter replied, By me soul, honest fellow, if thou canst but ride, Thou wilt get up behind me, and thee I will bring To the presence of Jamie, thy sovereign king. Oh, but he'll be surrounded with nobles so gay, So how shall we tell him from them, sir, I pray? Well, you'll easily know him when once thou art there, For the king's head be covered, but his nobles all bare. So he got up behind him, and likewise his sack, With his budget of leather, and his tools at his back, And away they did ride to the merry green wood, Where the nobles came around, and bareheaded they stood. And the tinkler then, seeing so many appear, He slyly did whisper the king in his ear, Oh, they are all clothed so gloriously gay, But which amongst them is the king, sir, I pray? And the king with a hearty good laughter replied, By me soul on his fellow, it's thou or it's I, For the rest are bareheaded, uncovered all round. And the tinkler he gaped, and he fell to the ground, And like one who was frightened quite out of his wits, Down on his knees then he instantly gets, Beseeching for mercy, but the king to him said, Oh, you're a good fellow, so be not afraid. Now come tell me thy name. I am John of the Dale. I'm a mender of kettles and a lover of ale. 
Well, rise up, Sir John, I will honour thee here, for I make thee a knight of three thousand a year. Which was a fine thing for the tinkler indeed, and straight to the court he was sent for with speed, where great store of pleasure and pastime was seen, all in the royal presence of king and of queen. Now Sir John of the Dale, he has land, he has fee, at the court of the king who's so happy as he. But still in his hall hangs the tinkler's old sack, with his budget of leather and his tools in a pack, to remind of the times to his back they did cling, and the day he spent drinking with Jamie the King. Come all you young people and listen to my song. I will unfold concerning God that does so many wrong. Emma was a serving girl, she loved a soldier bold. He ploughed the main some gold to gain. He ploughed the main some gold to gain, for his love so I've been told. Young Emma, she had daily mourn since Edward first left home. Seven long years had passed and gone since Edward had been home. He returned to Emma's home again, his gold all for to show that he had gained all on the main. That he had gained all on the main, down in the lowlands low. Young Edward, he sat smoking, till time to go to bed. Not thinking of the trouble that prowled around his head. Says Emma's cruel parents, his gold will make a show, and will send his body floating. We'll send his body floating down to the lowlands low. Young Edward had gone to bed, he'd scarcely fall asleep. When Emma's cruel parents into his room did creep, they beat him, they dragged him, down to the beach they go, and they left his body floating. They left his body floating down to the lowlands low. Now Emma lay sleeping, she dreamed a dreadful dream. She dreamed her love was murdered, and the blood appeared in streams. She awoke at break of daylight, and to his room she go. Twas because she loved him dearly. Because she loved him dearly, who ploughed the lowlands low. Oh, father, where's that young man come here last night to lie? He's dead and gone, no tale can tell, a father did reply. Oh, father, oh, father, you'll die a public show for the murder of my Edward. For the murder of my Edward, who ploughed the lowlands low. 
The fish all in the ocean swim over my love's head. His body rolls in motion, I hope his soul's at rest. The trees all on the mountain are tossing to and fro. Remind me of my Edward. Remind me of my Edward, who ploughed the lowlands low. Come write me down, ye powers above, the man that first created love. For I've a diamond in my eye, where all my joys and comforts lie. Where all my joys and comforts lie. I'll give Fancy me, my dear, if you can fancy me, my dear. It's not your gold shall me entice to leave all pleasures to be a wife. For I don't mean or intend at all to be at any young man's call. To be at any young man's call. Then go your way, you scornful dame, since you've proved false, I'll prove the same. For I don't care, but I shall find some other fair maid to my mind. Some other fair maid to my mind. Oh, stay, young man, don't be in haste. You seem afraid your time will waste. Let reason rule your roving mind, and unto you I will prove kind. And unto you I will prove kind. So to church they went that very next day, and were married by asking as I've heard say. So now that girl, she is his wife, she will prove his comfort day and night. She will prove his comfort day and night. In the meadow one morning when pearly with dew, a fair pretty maiden plucked violets blue. I heard her clear voice making all the woods ring. All my love is in Flanders to fight for the king, and I would that the wars were well over. Oh, I would that the wars were all done. I'll pluck the red robin so jaunty and gay. Yet I have my robin, but he's far away. His jacket is red, and his cheeks as the rose. He sings of his knell, as to battle he goes. And I would that the wars were well over. Oh, I would that the wars were all done. Ten thousand of bluebells now welcome the spring. 
Oh, when will the church bells for victory ring? And the soldiers return, and all England rejoice. Oh, then I'll be wed to the lad of my choice. And I would that the wars were well over. Oh, I would that the wars were all done. As I was a walking down by some shady grove, down by some shady Nancy, my heart, my soul's delight. Young lambs, they were a playing all on the banks of sweet mossum. All on the banks of sweet mossum that long to happy spring. The lark all in the air, she rises in the morning and brings me joyful tidings of Nancy, my dear. The songbirds on the branches is now sit down to rest. I'll write to lovely Nancy, my heart, my soul's delight. Young lambs, they were a playing all on the banks of sweet mossum. All on the banks of sweet mossum that long to happy spring. The lark all in the air, she rises in the morning and brings me joyful tidings of Nancy, my dear. Give me ink and paper, I may sit down to write. I'll write to lovely Nancy, my heart, my soul's delight. Young lambs, they were a playing all on the banks of sweet mossum. All on the banks of sweet mossum that long to happy spring. The lark all in the air, she rises in the morning and brings me joyful tidings of Nancy, my dear. Oh, William Taylor was a brisk young sailor, he who courted a lady gay. Well, bells were ringing and sailors singing, as to church they did repair. Now forty couple were at the wedding, all were dressed in rich array instead of William getting married he was pressed and sent away so she dressed up in man's apparel man's apparel she put on and she has gone to find her true love for to find him she is gone. And then the captain stepped up to her, saying, Fair maid, what's brought you here? Oh, I am come to find me true love, whom I lately loved so dear. If you have come to find your true love, Oh, tell me what his name may be. Oh, his name it is William Taylor. From the Irish ranks came he. 
If you rise early the very next morning, if you rise up at the break of day, then you shall see your true love, William, walking with the lady gay. And she rose early the very next morning, and she rose up at the break of day, and there she saw her true love, William, walking with the lady gay. So sword and pistol she did order to be brought at her command, and she has shot her true love, William, with the bride on his right arm. In Frisco Bay there were three ships To me way, hey, hey, oh In Frisco Bay there were three ships A long time ago And one of them ships was Noah Zodak To me way, hey, hey, oh all covered all our wickery back A long time ago They took two animals of every kind To me way, hey, hey, oh They took two animals of every kind A long time ago the bull and the cow that started for row To me way, hey, hey, oh The bull and the cow that started for row A long time ago Then said old Noah with the flick of his whip To me way, hey, hey, oh Come stop this row or I'll scuttle the ship A long time ago But the bull stuck his arm through the side of the ark To me way, hey, hey, oh And the little black dog he started foot back A long time ago so Noah took the dog, shoved its nose up the hole To, to me way, hey, 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 oh And ever since then, dog's nose has been cowed A long time ago It's a long, long time and a very long time To me way, hey, hey, oh a long, long time and a very long time A long time ago I once loved a boy And a bonny, bonny boy I loved him, I vow and protest and I loved him so well, and so very, very well, that I built him a bower in my breast. I built him a bower in my breast. Oh, it's up the long alley and down the green valley Like one that was troubled in mind I hollowed and I hooped And I played upon my flute But no bunny boy could I find 
But no bonny boy could I find Oh, I sat myself down on a green mossy bank Where the sun it shone wonderful warm Where who should I spy but my own funny boy Fast locked in some other girl's arms Fast locked in some other girl's arms Now the girl who's the joy of my own bonny boy let her make of him all that she can oh whether he loved me oh whether he don't I walk with that boy now and then I walk with that boy now and then. Oh, the car you're all in, and I've lost me. Oh, the car you're all in, and I've lost me bed. I'd rather lose all the tie than lose me any. I'd rather lose all the tie than lose me bed. Fair face tells me any, his blue eyes are shining. His head in curl ringlets hang sweet to me side. So mount the old pony in gun and seek after him. Bring to his mummy her only delight. Well, he's all his old Roman, the long song. Is all his old Roman away from the farm? Over oh, hedges and ditches and valleys and fell sides. I hope that me Benny has come to no harm. I have searched in the meadows and in the forest. Stocky yards and buyers putting out cord I find So off you gun daddy and look for your laddie and bring to his mommy some peace to her mind. Is the tender coming off the shield bar? Is the tender coming? 